I want to be a full-time sex therapist. Really? That's an interesting career choice. Yeah. I'm never, I'm never going to uh, leave the wrestling business though. Like I, I'm just not going to do it as my one and only thing. So a sex therapist, that's like if couples are having problems, they come to see you and it's almost like a psychiatrist type thing or a, well, that would be like that. That's more like um, like the marriage counseling and sex therapy. It's a little deeper than that. It'll go for somebody that was raped, for example, and they can't get they can't have sexual relationships after that. Like they just can't. So you need to talk to someone that can help you out. Let's say you're 40 years old and you're a virgin and you want to have intercourse, but you just can't. No, you don't know how. You who do you ask? Your mom's not gonna tell you. So you need a sex therapist. Let's say you do um gender uh, change. So now you you no longer have a vagina. Now you have a penis. How do you use it? How how do you work with it? It's a, it's also a surgical kind. So I need to tell you how to clean it, like how to use it, how like what to expect. Is it gonna bleed? Like how many times do you need surgery? Like you need to know. A lot about that so you would talk to somebody like me obviously if somebody's having like the normal problems like oh I I'm sexually frustrated I'm having erectile dysfunction like and or or uh, too dr like it's too dry my wife or like whatever like those are basic and that you would come to somebody who's so a sex therapist for that but I feel like the people that really really need it are people with like the first thing I mentioned. There's a lot more cases, but we wouldn't be done today. What do you think about, like on a lot of these wrestling podcasts are always advertising Blue Chew, for instance, as if like, even if you don't have any problems, you should take something like that. And like, what do you think of people suggesting that, for instance, like, could that eventually cause damage? Well, I don't know the side effects of the pill. I'm not, I'm not aware of like what could happen, but I don't know. I feel like if you want to use it, cause it'll get, it'll give you more pleasure. So why not? Like you can, you can use it. Just don't abuse it. Right. Just like any other drug. And just what like any other drug or pill. What made you want to get into that? Because that's an unusual one for sure. It's definitely, very helpful and I could see why you would but it seems quite a contrast to being a heel manager. Yeah. I just think that I for myself, I wanna be a performer and I will always do that because it's my dream and I love it. But at the end of the day I feel like we all have a purpose. And I've always been that person that everybody feels comfortable talking to, especially about sexual traumas. I don't know why. But a lot of people always come to me and they're like, hey, what would you do in this case? And I'm like, I don't really, <laughs> why would you ask me? But I've always seemed to have the answer for it or like at least what I think would work works. And I, I've always been interested about like why everybody thinks sex is such a bad thing and like why is everybody hiding? And I know it has to do a little bit with religion, but there has to be more to it than just... You know, it's prohibited, it's bad, it's evil. So I I like I like to, I like a challenge. I always like something that's different. And I was taking human sexuality in school, which was a, a class that was I, I needed to take a science and I decided to take that one because everything else just sounded boring. And then when the, one of the first things they taught us is like, what careers could you pursue? if you were to be in the sexology field. And I was like, whoa, I could do that. And then I looked up sex therapists and there's not really any sex therapy celebrities except Dr. Ruth, who is like aged, <laughs> aged. She is aged. And yeah. I feel like she survived the Holocaust. So she's been around. Uh, eventually, she's not going to be around. They, they're going to need somebody, and that's where I'm going to be. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. 
Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.